Welcome back to Alyssa's Movie Takes. Today I am going to be doing a quick reaction to Season 3, Episode 3 of The Chosen. If you are new to the channel, feel free to check out some of my other videos. I do movie reviews and think pieces from a Christian perspective. But to jump into Season 3, Episode 3, Physician, Heal Thyself, let me just say that overall the storytelling is pretty amazing. You have Jesus, who we know pretty well from the first two seasons, coming home to his hometown, having dinner with his mom. And because he knows what's coming, to a certain extent, we don't know the full extent to how much Jesus knows is coming, but he knows that this is going to be the last time he's in Nazareth. So they have this quick conversation together. It's deep. It's two people who understand what's going on with Jesus more than anybody in the world at this point. Mary has a deep understanding that something terrible is coming for Jesus because of who he is as Messiah. She might not have the whole picture and we don't know how much Jesus knows either, except that he knows that this is going to be the last time that he's in Nazareth. So he gathers something important. He takes that with him. And then the next day we see the celebration of Rosh Hashanah, which is the Jewish New Year. The Jewish New Year is celebrated with a lot of fun, with a lot of games. There's the blowing of the shofar. There's uh, there's apples and honey to celebrate a sweet new year. You see all these pieces, right? So the Chosen did their research there. And then you get to the evening and they go to the synagogue. And it's this famous story from the scriptures, which is mainly found in Luke 4. This is the longest version, but it's also in Matthew. It's also in Mark. And this is the headline of Jesus rejected at Nazareth. But in this case, they have him... Uh, reading the scriptures, not on the Sabbath, but on Rosh Hashanah, which is considered when they have a holiday, it's sort of like a bonus Sabbath. So it could have been, but we don't know for sure. But he gets up and he reads Isaiah 61. Now this is the year of the Lord's favor. Go ahead and read those, that scripture that he reads it's in Luke 4. The Lord has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to pro proclaim freedom for the captives, etc., to heal the blind and uh, the deaf, right? That That's in that scripture too. And then in the Bible, Jesus ends by saying, in your hearing, this scripture has been fulfilled. And that stirs up his audience. They say, what? Is he claiming to be Messiah? And in the scripture, he follows it up with this story. And he all, they also do this in The Chosen of how Elijah was sent not to the Jewish widows, but to a Gentile widow to perform a miracle. And how Elisha was not sent to the Jewish lepers, but to a Gentile leper to perform a miracle. And it's on this word in the Bible that the people pick up stones or pick him up and try to drag him to the edge of a cliff and kill him. It's on those words. But in The Chosen, they add a bit more dialogue. And I'm not sure, this is where I'm not sure about it, because what I think is the power of that story in Scripture is how short it is. Jesus is direct, he's short, and then they try to kill him, and he just walks right out. In this, they add a bit more dialogue. Now, they have to make it into an hour-long episode, so I understand, but I'm not sure about these lines. Rabbi Benjamin, who's the rabbi that Jesus grew up under in The Chosen, this is how they're portraying it, says to Jesus after he says what he says, if you do not renounce your word, we have no choice but to enact the law of Moses. And then Jesus responds, I am the law of Moses. And it's on that word that they try to take him and throw him over a cliff. And I'm, it's still not settling right with me, so I don't believe that that was probably the right way to go. I think they should have kept that story short and then done more around the hometown dynamics. What I do like is that they have Rafi as one of the first people who grabs Jesus and tries to drag him toward his death. Rafi was the father of the bride at the wedding, right? Jesus rescued his reputation and he still rejects Jesus as Messiah when it comes to it which is a fascinating and sobering lesson in the Bible that you can witness the miracles of God, be a recipient of a miracle from God and still reject Jesus. That's fascinating. So we're seeing higher stakes. We're seeing Jesus having to basically turn his back now on Nazareth and never come back because they will they'll try to kill him again. And we know that his life is heading toward this ultimate confrontation. We're starting to see that more. So it's pretty good storytelling. And then there's just a few things that I'm not sure about. But I, that's my take on The Chosen Season 3, Episode 3. What did you think of the episode? Did you watch it on Christmas? Did you wait a little while? Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And I look forward to talking with you soon.